Okay, my friends, let's see. And we're going to wait a little bit. Um, I know it is a rainy night. I guess it's raining in different parts of El Salvador. So yeah, it's kind of difficult to get home. Definitely, and we have some difficulties maybe because of the rain. So let's see. Uh, here we have Guillermo, right, Guillermo? Yes, teacher. Okay, nice to hear you. Um, what about Daniel? Yes. Hi, teacher. Present. That's perfect. Well, you should have Eduardo's listener, Kathy, and David. Just give me a second. Well, definitely we are here. We have some other participants. Let's see who else. Gustavo, right? Well, Gustavo, welcome back. Thank Hi, teacher. Good evening. Well, I know that you have some difficulties uh, because of the rain, but. No, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Gustavo. Well, my okay. friends, the topic of tonight is how to use could. As you can see, this is the class number 17. It means that we have just three more classes and we're going to be free. Um, the plan is to finish on Thursday, right? So, well, I need you to be updated with your uh, homeworks and remember that for Thursday, or if you can do it earlier, 
you can finish the final exam. ¿Verdad? Pueden terminar el examen final eh, el jueves o pueden hacerlo antes. So you don't have to, so you're not going to have uh, accumulated work. So that's another option to do it in advance. Okay, the topic for tonight is how to use could. We're going to uh, check it. We're going to make some exercises. And here we have this. Um, here we have an interesting question. It says, at what age would you like to pass away? Pass away uh, means die. I mean, at what age would you like to go to heaven or to, uh, to the eternity? A que edad le gustaría pasar a mejor vida? I know that it is a difficult question because... Nobody wants to say goodbye. Nobody wants to, to pass away. But it's part of the life. It is something that you can't run. That is going to appear in your life, whether you want it or not. So I need you to do it. In my case, let's do it in the chat. I could say that at... I would like to pass away at 85 years old in my case because I consider that we can live a lot, but I wouldn't like to be too old because you're going to be like a, a baby because you need some cares, you need some attention, a lot of medicines, special food. So I, I, I wouldn't like to, to reach uh, more than that. But at 85, I guess it is a good age to say goodbye. I don't know in your case. Please tell me in the chat at what age would you like to pass away? Or at least an idea. I'm going to be waiting for your answers.
Okay. Let's read some of your answers that particularly I consider like interesting. Guillermo, you say at 75. Any special reason for that day? Mm, I, I think that it's a good age to pass away because I, I live a lot of experience. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you, you have lived a lot of experience, right? And you, your brain could be like in good condition to say goodbye. Mm, yes, I mean, uh, I, I don't want to to have to to take a lot of medicines mm -hmm. at that age because my, my body can resist that for too many time. Okay, yeah. And especially the, some other point could it be that you will need um, not just medicine, but also to visit hospitals, to have some treatments or therapies. Yeah, a lot of, I don't know, a lot of things that that is not going to be like nice, that is going to be mm, uncomfortable. Okay, good point. Daniel, you say maybe we'd like to pass away at 60, okay, at 60. Any special reason? Yeah, I am. Um, I've seen that so many infirmities, uh, uh, illnesses, diseases, and I think I will die the, not to hold. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, could it be like yeah, you could uh, be in, in a good uh, condition, right? That's something that is but very, very important, okay? For the, the other participants that are connecting now, we are talking about uh, at what age would you like to pass away? And we are texting the number. I mean, what age would you like to say goodbye to, to die? A qué edad le gustaría, pues, pasar a mejor vida, okay? I'm going to wait for the others because here we have uh, Maritza, Evelyn, uh, Rivas, okay. So I will need your answers in the chat. Y después volvemos con eh, la respuesta de David. Okay, David says at 90 years old, mm, good age. Okay, yeah. And what about the others? Um, Maritza, good evening. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, we're talking about this. Ah, 80. You say, say 80. Any special reason for 80 years old and say goodbye? Mm, no. Okay, it is like in the middle, in the adequate. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, because 80, you can retire at 55. And then at 80, um, well, you can spend 25 years of your life retired and having fun at home with your family, with your grandkids and all that. Thank you. What about Evelyn? Hi, Evelyn. 
any opinion about this? Hi, teacher. Nine uh, teacher. Okay, 90. Yeah, similar to David. Okay, 90 years. Okay, that's a good point. Any special reason? Alguna razón especial? No, no special reason. Okay. Nice. Let's see here. We have a lot of listeners tonight. Well, most of you. Rivas, good evening, Rivas. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how are you tonight? Fine, and you? Fine. Oh, well, I'm good. I feel good. Thank you. Okay, what about uh, your opinion about this? At what In age? In my opinion, I would like to be 100 years old, teacher. Okay, 100. Wow. That's a exactly. lot of years. Exactly. Okay, any special reason One for 100 years? Mm, not be sure. Mm. No, just live. Live the mm. life. Enjoy the life. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Very nice. Thank you uh, so much, my friends. Okay. Um, here we have these Freisal verbs. Um, actually, we have studied before Freisal verbs. Okay. So we already have an idea about uh, how to use different Freisal verbs. Uh, we were talking that there is a lot, well, there, there are a lot of price of verbs. And it is difficult to, to say, I know all of them. And that's easy for me because you can uh, identify uh, or see new verbs like this, right? But, well, um, anyway, we have to learn more and more. Okay, so we're going to we're going to check this. Okay, so I'm going to call you one by one. You say hi, hello, present, good evening, and in that way, then please, uh, you mention one of these uh, phrase adverbs. Well, okay, Adi not here. Uh, remember, uh, the present verb, the root is take, la raíz is take. Puede ser take, take against, take after, take out, take off, take up. And so on. Adi not here. Christy not here, right? Uh, Luisa. I don't know if Luisa is here. Not right. Okay. Andre, no. Rivas, yes, right, Rivas. Hello. When a teacher take out. Thank you. Uh, Daniel. Hi. Hi, teacher present. Take over. Perfect. Uh, we go with well David is as a listener, maybe later. Hello, hello teacher. Hey, thank you. Take over. Take over, perfect. Thank you for answering, David. Evelyn, hello, Evelyn. Teacher. Uh, oh Luisa, hello. Okay, good evening. Take up. Perfect. Thank you, Luisa, for answering. Okay, perfect. Evelyn, are you there? Well, maybe she's not here. Let's move with Guillermo. Hi, Guillermo. Hi, teacher. Okay. Take after. Perfect. Uh, John is listener. Katia. Well, I guess Katia is not here. Let's go with Maritza. 
pleasant day up. Perfect. Good. Gustavo, what about you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. Take back. Okay. Oscar Daniel Eduardo. Okay. Rosalie, Susie. Well, I guess they Good are. Teacher. Okay. Hello, Eduardo. Thank you for asking. Hello. Take after. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. I guess Rosalie is not connected by the moment. Okay. So, um, since here we have these uh, phrasal verbs, okay, uh, there are a lot, okay, take back, take uh, down, okay, take over, take apart, take out, yeah, I guess it is like very important to have at least an idea about how can, how you can use this uh, phrasal verb, okay, um, here we have this. Um, the last time, well, like one week ago, I guess we were talking about this. How often do you ask for permission? And well, to ask for permission, I guess you, I don't know, somebody says that it was legal that you should have three permissions every month. I don't know. Uh, maybe an idea that I, I used to have. Uh, is that you have three permissions during the, the year or something like that, just in case of emergencies. But well, here we have a conversation uh, related to um, permissions using the modal verb could, okay? So um, let's see, here we have Hank, Julie, and Betty. So in this case, it says, Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to HR, human resources, right? HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So um, maybe instead. Okay, here we have ladies. But in case of ladies, you can say guys. For example, imagine that Gustavo is working with Rivas and Guillermo. And Guillermo says, good morning, ladies. No, come on. You are talking with with boys, right? So you can say, good morning, guys. Okay. En lugar de ladies. Si hablan, ¿verdad? O viene Maritza, no le va a decir lady a Gustavo ni a Rivas. Good morning, ladies. No. Good morning, guys. Okay. So you can adapt. If you want, you can change in lugar, en lugar de decir Betty. Betty, you can use a real name. Okay. So that's it. Uh, you can change just uh, ladies or uh, the the name Betty or Betty, okay. Here we have this and this. Solo voy a sorrearlo bien. Okay, um, can you help me, Maritza, please send in this um, image? Thank you. Okay, we're going to work in groups of three. I know it's difficult because some of you are listeners. But in case you can do it, okay. 
Remember to change roles. Recuerden intercambiar roles. So in that way, you can have a better experience practicing because you can use some other words, not the same words. Okay? Intercambian roles y los veo en un momento. Okay, let's practice.
Hi, teacher. Um, uh, I'm driving. Sorry. Uh, okay, no problem. When you get home, just tell me, okay? You relax. Yes, yes. When you're when you're okay to participate, okay, okay. just let me know, okay? Yes, yes, yes. I say thanks. Okay, thank you.
Well, my friends, welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue uh, while practicing this. Let me see. Maybe we can start with uh, Luisa Rivas and Daniel. Okay. Luisa, are you there? Okay, teacher. Please. Good morning, guys. How are you doing today? Um, hello, Carlos. Uh, I am okay, but Daniel is not. Really? What's wrong, Daniel? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Quién comienza? David, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Rivas, creo, ¿verdad? I'm sorry to hear that. Hello, hello. I'm sorry, uh, I had some difficulties with my internet. Yo dije, lo asustamos. No, para nada, I'm so sorry. Uh, the problem is that the signal is not... Eh, well, I'm having problems. But thank you. Bueno, gracias entonces. Eh, no se preocupen. Sí, escuché casi todo. Pero, pero bueno. Eh, problemas de aquí de esta señal. Thank you, Rivas. Uh, well, uh, Daniel and Luisa. We're going to listen Guillermo, Gustavo, and Maritza, please. Okay, DJ. Okay. okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I, I am okay, but Maritza is not. Really? What's wrong with Maritza? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can go see her. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission? He's right. You can go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the rates? The reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Okay, thank you. Well done. Okay, so practically here we have like a problem, especially with the mothers of this person. And well, yeah, to ask for permission is something that it is a very important and is urgent. Okay, here we have what is the problem with Betty or with Betty. Uh, let's listen in this case to Rivas. What do you think, Rivas? Uh, what's the problem with Betty? Um, hey, your mother is sick. Yeah, yeah. The, the mother, her, her mother is sick. Thank you. So, um, I guess because sometimes we have that difficulty that we have a, like a relative in bad condition and nobody is available to, to be checking or taking care of that person. So in that way, we need to ask for permissions. And we have some difficulties with some companies because the, some companies don't want to give us the permission, but yeah sometimes it's like urgent okay and the topic speaking activity what are the top three things on your bucket list cuáles son cuál es el top tres de las cosas que van en su bucket list the bucket list even there is a movie related to that in a película que, 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 que se llama antes de partir it's with morgan freeman and with jack nicholson they are elders, they are old men, and they meet in a hospital. So they start doing uh, things before they die. Empiezan a hacer cosas antes de fallecer. So 
the name of that movie, uh, if I am not wrong, is The Bucket List. So uh, you have to mention three things uh, you want to do or you have to do before you die, antes que fallezcas, okay? So I'm going to be checking your answers here in the in the chat. For example, you can say number one, visit. You can say visit Europe, or you can see um, know my grandsons, conocer mis, mis eh, nietos. So another can be maybe travel. To no, could it be? Mm. Okay, uh, this uh, is just one example. So I needed to, well, everybody text here in the chat three things you want to do before you pass away uh, one example okay could it be visit europe uh, no my grandsons go to a kiss concert okay no problem so uh, you can mention it or explain it in the text depends on you we're here we have guillermo but we're going to wait for the others thank you guillermo ya vamos a comenzar contigo but please, I need Gustavo, Rivas, eh, Marisa, Luisa, please, eh, Karina, Daniel, uh, David, if, if, you, if you have the chance, please text what are the things you have or you want to do before you pass away. I'm going to be checking your answers.
Well, I'm checking here some of your answers, but I need more. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's it. Well, let's listen to some of your answers that particularly consider very interesting. Maybe, yeah, we want to start with Guillermo. Okay, Guillermo, here I can see your three points. Could, could you read them, please? Yes. Thanks. Um, the first thing is I will say to take my mom and my aunt on a tour of several countries in Europe. Nice. The second one is leaving another country with all my family and having a better life. And Perfect. the last one is finish my degree at the university and, work, and finally work on how you really want Okay, that's nice. Um, particularly number one, perfect. Visit Europe with your family or number two, yeah, living in another country. I guess in another country, uh, we can have different possibilities, right? Uh, different environments. And three, definitely, um, well, to finish your degree and work in your area. So important. Thank you, Guillermo. And David, could you? Thank you. Yes, there you are. Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, I would like practice sky diving. Diving. A diving. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is that to travel on a cruiser? You buy a new house. Okay, nice. Well, you like extreme sports, David, because sky diving is not that easy. It is considered an extreme sport. Well, that's it. In my case, I wouldn't do it because I don't like heights. I'm afraid of heights, but well, that's it. And to travel on a cruiser, yeah. I don't know. Do you have any specific uh, place? Where would you like to uh, travel? I would like Panama. Ah, yeah. Good, good, good option, Panama. Thank you. Uh, perfect, David. Daniel, okay, Daniel, what about you? Hi, teacher. Um, I will like to visit Oklahoma and get on a plane and jump to paracaídas. No sé si es así. And... Yes, uh, parachutes. Se escribe parachute, and... but yeah, it's parachutes. Entonces, and go to the Everest. Go to Everest. Yeah, another uh, very interesting. Uh, and die, and die arriba. 
die uh, on Everest, ok? Die in the high, en las alturas. Well, yes. thank you. Thank you. Uh, die arriba. Very interesting. Maritza, what about you? Could you read yours, please? Uh, number one, buy a house. Number two, buy a Another country. Number three, travel the world. Thank you. Any special country would you like to 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 know or to travel? Because yeah, there are a lot of uh, countries, interesting places. Mm, but any the, special anywhere. 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 The thing is to travel, go out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. What about Rivas? Okay, teacher, travel to race. Why is Cristiano Ronaldo playing in, Ar in Arabia? Travel to Holy Land. Okay, yeah, that's it. Perfect. Yeah, Greece, nice. And Cristiano Ronaldo, why not? Yeah, it is a great show, definitely. And yeah, uh, yeah, travel to, to Holy Land. I guess it is uh, like a, a very... A spiritual uh, trip. It is a spiritual place. Why not? Thank you. Gustavo, what about you? Okay, teacher. Uh, always uh, be, my, be with my family. Uh, number two, have my, ha my house. Uh, number three, have my small business. Yeah, nice. Yeah, definitely. Family is first, right? So always be with your family, have your own house. I guess that's the like a very common dream or a very common objective that we well, all of us have, right? And have a small business. Any idea about what kind of business would you like to have? Uh, yes, teacher, uh, como electrician. Okay, related uh, to elect in the electrician area. Okay, yeah. Of course yeah. you can do it. Of course you can do it. Thank you very much, um, Gustavo. Okay. okay, thank you for your answer. Yes, yes, that's it. Um, now we're going to uh, check the grammar point that we have here. How to use could. I'm sorry, this is failing. Yeah, here we have. Use the model verb could to express possibility. Okay, I'm going to say something. Could, no could, you know, could. Um, you can use it for expressing, of course, possibility. Yeah, definitely. Or you can use it for expressing request. And the other is the past of can. Okay, look at this. If you can take notes, please, you can do it. Could, it's a modal verb, and you can use it in three different uh, context or uh, uh, aspects possibility something that that it is possible to happen request you are saying please for something or you want to express past experiences using can verdad el pasado de can so una solicitud o una posibilidad okay so um Structure. ¿Cuál es la estructura? Subject plus uh, should plus verb plus complement. Aquí se ha equivocado. Se ha equivocado porque en lugar de la palabra should, debería de ir could, que es el, el verbo que estamos utilizando. ¿Verdad? Pero igual, entendemos lo que es el modal could. Así que... Um, tenemos aquí algunos ejemplos. Let's uh, read 
them. And maybe we can have Maritza, the first one. You could request a day of. Tu podrías solicitar, okay? Request a day of. Thank you. Okay, Luisa, please, uh, could you help me with this? Okay, teacher, you call tell your supervisor or the manager. Mm -hmm. You could talk. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Okay, here we have um, Daniel, please, with this. You could explain your situation. The situation, of course, that it's. And Guillermo, please help me with the last one. Mm, we could take the company's transportation. Thank you. Okay, that's it. So remember the use of can. It is divided in three. Even here we have just possibility. Aquí solo tenemos la, el tema de posibilidad. But could can be applied for all this. Okay, so uh, exercise four. Read the situations and write a sentence expressing possibility. With could. Uh, okay. Let's here we have you don't have a car. Number one. Number two, someone of your family is sick. Three, you need to request a legal document for you feel tired sick. Okay. I need you to select two of these, please. Select two of these and text a sentence in the chat. For example, uh, you don't have a car, you can say you could rent a car or you can go um, by, by train. You could ask for help, you could ask for right, okay? Whatever possibility comes to your mind. Here we have four uh, situations. Let's try to write two sentences Solo elijan dos de estas y escriban una oración por cada uno. Serían dos oraciones, utilizando could. Por ejemplo, aquí en la primera, eh, si te sientes mal, you could request a day of. Podría solicitar un día libre. La siguiente, uh, si tienes alguna duda, you could talk to your supervisor or the manager. O si tienes una queja, tú podrías hablar con el supervisor o el, el gerente. ¿Ok? Eh, espero sus oraciones, solo dos oraciones, two sentences, please.
Well, here have some of your options. And remember that there's a situation we have to, yeah, provide the solution, the possible option. Uh, Guillermo, please, uh, what about you? Okay, I... I what what option? The... One, two, three, or four? Option four. Uh huh. Is the first one. If you feel tired or sick, um, if you feel tired, you could take a shower. Perfect. And the number one, you don't have uh, a car, you could buy a car. Thank you. Perfect. Daniel, please, and then David. You um you could arrive early and you could do do your homework. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's for number one, and then for yeah, it's another right number three. David and Gustavo. Okay, teacher, uh, you could pass me the salt. We could arrive early tomorrow. Thank you, Gustavo and Rivas. Okay, teacher. The number one mm -hmm. and number two. Uh, okay. You call boy a new car. Yeah. Uh, you call call a doctor. For a doctor. Thank you. Of course, Rivas and then Maritza. Okay, teacher. You call help me. You call right today. Thank you. That's it. Maritza and Luisa. Number two, someone of your family is sick, they could visit a doctor. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Number four, you feel tired, you could talk to your boss. Your boss, talk to your boss. Thank you. Luisa, what about you? Yeah, you could get up early, you mm -hmm. could sleep. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, some options, right? Thank you. You are using a very nice the modal verb could. Okay. Here we have a worksheet. So in this, look at this. Um, in this case, we're going to study could. Well, uh, we studied for permissions ya no I'm sorry for possibility ya estuvimos viendo el could verdad para posibilidad for possibility now we're going to study can como el pasado I'm sorry could como el pasado del can ya sabemos que can verdad significa poder yo puedo tú puedes and we have affirmatives of course and here we have the affirmatives, here we have the negatives, and here we have the questions. And also we have the answer with yes, answer with no. It is easy. The same use, el mismo uso. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Aquí en este caso con el could, vamos a hablar sobre el pasado. Okay? So, here we have some... Okay. Uh, what we're going to focus is if we notice any word or phrases, si, si vemos una frase o palabra relacionado al pasado, obviously we're going to use could or couldn't. Si vemos palabras que nos hacen entender que están hablando en el pasado, vamos a utilizar could, si no vamos a utilizar can. Okay. Eh, as, palabras así como esta, las night, yesterday, um, when I was, cuando yo tenía 16 años. Ah, sí, 16. So, that's it, ok. Eh, look for them. Enfóquense en algunas palabras. Veamos si es en presente o en pasado. I'm going to give you like a couple of seconds. Les doy un par de segundos y comenzamos a completarlo. Veanla, 
I recommend you to have three or four options. So in case of one of your classmates uh, complete uh, one or two, uh, you can have some other options to participate. Okay, let's do a par de segundos, leamos las. Okay, my friends, let's start here uh, saying can, could, or couldn't. Um, we're going to select two, right? But let's go with the first round. Vamos con la primera ronda. Daniel, what number? The number one. Okay. I couldn't go to the party last night because I was sick. Yeah, that's okay. I couldn't last night. No pude ir. Yeah. Thank you, Daniel. Maybe we can have Luisa and then David. Luisa, any idea? Okay, teacher. Um, the number seven. Mm -hmm. I am very tired. So I could couldn't go out to the park to play. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm very tired. Soy muy cansado o cansada. So I... Okay, in this case, I can't. No okay. puedo salir a, a jugar. I can't. Thank you. Okay, what about David and then Guillermo? Number 12. Okay. I could drive a truck when I was only 16 years old. Thank you. Yes, I could. Yo podía. Mm -hmm. Guillermo and Gustavo. Okay, number two. Um, could Noel cook Italian food? Okay. Yes, could. Yeah, could it be? The possibility, in this case, podría, el? Eh? 
Yes, he could. Okay. Thank you. Gustavo and Rivas. Okay, teacher. The number four. Mm -hmm. They they came go shopping yesterday because uh, the store was closed. Okay, thank you. Oh. Aquí sería couldn't. Mm -hmm. okay. Porque como habla de yesterday, de ayer, okay, no pudieron ir. Thank you. Uh, we go with Rivas and Maritza. Okay, teacher number eight. Could eight. you see the moon last night? No, I couldn't. Okay, thank you. Yeah, pudiste ver a Luna? Yeah, no, I couldn't, says. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Maritza, and then we go with, let me see after Maritza, we're going to call Evelyn. Okay, Maritza. Number three. My sister could swim last year. Mm -hmm. O sería couldn't. Uh -huh, couldn't. Couldn't. Mm -hmm. But now she could. But now she can. Can. Sería, ja, mi hermana no podía nadar el año pasado, pero ahora ella puede. Okay. okay. Thank you, Maritza. Very nice. Andre, are you ready? And then Evelyn. Okay, teacher, uh, five. Okay, let's go with number eight. Could you read when you were four years old? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I could. Yes, I could. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, I could. Very nice. Evelyn, what about you? Are you ready with... Uh, to use can or could in one of these uh, sentences? Number nine, when told, I told to you about the company report. Okay. Okay, sería en ese caso can. Can sería, thank you. When can I talk to you? Thank you very much. Okay, let's go with the, the other round. Vamos con la otra ronda. Daniel, please. And then we go with Luisa. Maybe six. Uh, well, I'm going to mark uh, the sentences that are already answered. So you can have like a better view about what options are for our three. Okay, Daniel. The number six. Mm -hmm. Ellie can ride the bicycle. She rides it to school every day. Yeah, she can. Thank you. Luisa, are you there? And then David. Okay, teacher. And the number Three. Mm, three, three is taken. Uh, uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Douglas okay. is the three because he can. Okay. Stop. He's cold. Okay. Ajá, se le sí, porque okay. dice couldn't. Douglas golpeó. Es que hit es un verbo irregular que sirve como en presente y en pasado. Ese es bien confuso. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces Douglas golpeó el árbol porque él no pudo, no pudo detener el, ¿verdad? el carro. Thank you. Eh, maybe who else? Guillermo, right? Ah, no, David and Guillermo. Lo teacher, number 50. Okay. I can't read with, without my reading list. Places, where are they? Yes, that's it. I can't. Okay, very nice. Uh, Guillermo, please. Okay, number 14. 
How many hot dogs can you eat at one time? Yeah, can you eat at one time? Of course. Thank you. Nice. Uh, we go with Maritza and Rivas. Eleven. Okay, let's go with eleven. Excuse me, I can hear you right now. Mm -hmm. The music is too loud. Yeah, the music is too loud. It is difficult to talk when the music is so loud. Rivas, please, could you um help us with number 10? That's the last one. Hey, teacher. Must dinosaurio walk on land, but some can fly or even swim? Mm -hmm. Most dinosaur, yeah. But uh, algunos podían caminar, pero algunos podían. Mm -hmm. so they could fly. Okay, thank you, my friend. Well, if you noticed uh, 15 um, sentences, and now we have like a better idea how to use a could, okay? Let's listen to the song. Vamos a ver a quién le correspondía lo de la canción ahora, porque ya sería... Dejamos a Evelyn a, o a Luisa. Me dice. ¿Y cómo vas, Luisa? ¿Ready? Voy a intentar. Eso, das diarito, das diarito. Ya te doy el permiso para que comp puedas compartir. Ok. Vamos a ver aquí ya. Okay. Yeah, you go. Aquí a las. Okay, teacher. So I'm looking. I'm stuck. Mm. ¿Ya? ¿Pueden ver? Sí. ¿Hola? Sí, sí podemos ver. Very nice. Si ¿Sí pueden verlo. Hola, sí, podíamos. No. Y ahorita ya no. Ya no. No. Ok. Ahorita sí. Yes, Ahora sí. sí. Sí, se puede. Ok. Eh, voy a cantar, pero no lo voy a asustar. No problem. Ok. No New Year's Day to celebrate No chocolate cover can the cat to get away No fear to spring No sun to sing I fire just another ordinary day No April rain no flowers bloom, no gladness are there within the most of doom. But what it is, is something true. My heart said to what, what I would say to you. I just call to say, I love you. I just go to say how much I care. I just go to say I love you. And I made it from the bottom of my heart. Very nice. Claps for you. Very nice, Lisa. Good boys. Yes. Really good boys. Yes. Sometimes if I'm baby, um, uh, I eat and do is uh, sujet pronouns. 
A tall in my up is simple past. Is my is a uh, possessive adjective. Is some um, thing is birds. Okay. Thank you. Well, song significa canción, sería un sustantivo, pero sing, sí es un verbo. That's a, okay. a verb. Thank you. Well, I guess everybody know what song is it, right? Todos sabemos qué canción es, ¿verdad? Definitely. Or not. It is from, yeah. what's the name of this singer? Steve Wonder. Steve Wonder, yes, he's a, uh, yes, he, he's a singer and he's blind, right? He can't see, verdad, es ciego. Yeah, Steve Wonder, very nice. Thank you very much for that effort. Uh, the the lyrics are perfect because you have, um, you have colored the words, the the parts of the grammar. Thank you. And of course, uh, your voice, Luisa. Thank you so Thank much. You, yeah, I know that you you made a great effort. And well, I can listen that you have a good voice. You should you should sing in karaoke, like when you go to to have fun. Yeah, thank you. And you have good uh, music in your playlist. I can know that. Okay. Well, maybe for tomorrow could it be Susie? But I don't know if Susie is available to share with us that song because we have just three more, uh, three more nights. But well, let's see later if we can do it. Okay. So um, we're going to check one activity from the manual. It says, we're going to have a role play. Uh, choose one of the situations in exercise four and create a conversation. Student A has the solution and student B provides possibility, change both. We're going to have a pequeña conversation como la hemos hecho brevemente. But we're going to take into account this. Vamos a tomar en cuenta esto, de posibilidades. One person is going to say the, the situation and the other person is going to give or provide the solution. So you can take one of these, right? Maybe you don't have a car, uh, some of your family is sick, uh, you need to request a legal document, you feel tired, sick, but you can have some other options. Pueden inventar, por ejemplo. For example, you are fired, eh, ha sido despedido, so you don't know what to do. The other is that maybe you have debts, que puede ser que tengan deudas, and you don't know how to solve that debt. Eh, the other uh, could it be that maybe you are waiting for a baby, puede que estén esperando un bebé y de repente, and then, uh, you are you don't have experience about this, so you are asking for some advice, algún consejo y todo eso. Okay, definitely you can base your dialogue or conversation. You can base that on this. Yeah, you can have that as an example. But if you want to do it like differently, you can do it. Okay, and we're going to have like eight minutes. Le voy a dar unos ocho minutos, eight minutes to prepare your conversation okay i'm going to create the teams okay my friends so i will see you in a couple of minutes
Okay. See you in a moment, my friends. Okay, I need you to accept the request. This is going to be like the last activity. Va a ser la última actividad, the last activity that we're going to have. Well, we have one more. Maybe Yermo can accept.
Okay, let's listen. What are some of your dialogues which you have worked in well in the breakout rooms? I don't know if Eduardo could you work with uh Daniel? Yes, with Daniel. Okay, please. Uh, let's listen to your dialogue, your conversation. Okay. Okay. Let's start. Hi, hi, um, Eduardo. Could you help me, please? Hello, Daniel. How can I help you? I want to take a coffee cup. Could you tell me a place? Yes, I can recommend you a place near to your work. That's right. Thank you. That seemed very good to me. Finish. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. That's it. Thank you. It's a recommendation. Okay. We go with Rivas and Gustavo and then Luisa and Maritza. Okay. Rivas and hey. Gustavo, ready? Hey, teacher. Please. I am doing I am doing a project. Could you help me? Oh. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. well, well, what it is about? It is a studio, a studio on pollution. Can you do surveys? Yes, of course. Call you with me more information. Yes, of course. I will send you a link for more information. Thank you. I will be watching. Perfect. Finished. Sounds really good. Really good. Thank you. Okay, Luisa and Maritza, what about you? Okay, teacher. Perfect. Good morning, Luisa. How are you doing today? Hello, Marisa. Will a little tired? Really? You could request a vacation. Yes, I really processed the, the human resource. That's great. You could rest and enjoy with your family. Thank you for your advice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Giving a recommendation. Yeah. Thank you. Well, um, let's listen to David and Guillermo. Could you finish your uh, conversation? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's listen what you have. Okay, good morning, Guillermo. Hello, David. How are you today? I'm fine, but I am also worried. Actually, what's up, David? I am worried because I haven't received a response regarding admission to the university. You shouldn't worry about that. You sure worrying. Finish, teacher. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Very good use of the vocabulary, phrases, good questions. Yeah, I like it. It uh, it sounds uh, well. It sounds really fluent. Suena fluido. Me gusta. Uh, all of the conversations uh, look really nice. Uh, very fluent. Bastante fluido. Congratulations. Les felicito. Okay, this is the last activity. And after this, we say goodbye. Talk about about what the worst purchase you have made. El peor, la peor compra que han hecho. I need you to, at least just to write the name of the product. If maybe a smart TV, pair of shoes, eh, maybe could it be like a, a gadget? Could it be food? Um, could it be a clothing articles, articles de ropa? Okay. So in your case, well, in my case, it was the words.
Well, in my case, my worst purchase was a belt because uh, it was expensive and uh, it broke down. I mean, the color uh, was changing very, but very fast. So I didn't like that that article, that product. Okay. So I needed to text in the chat. Then we're going to read uh, your answers. And maybe we can talk a little bit why or what is the reason you don't like your purchase. Okay, I'm going to be checking. Okay, let's listen to some of your answers. If you notice here, I have some vocabulary. For example, brand is marca. Cheap, barato, expensive, caro. Waste money is eh, desperdiciar dinero. Offer, uh, warranty, and recommendation. Uh, Eduardo, okay, come on. Uh, your worst purchase was a LED TV. Do you yes, remember uh... the brand? Uh, it was brand LG. Uh huh. And uh, I I think it was money because we don't use never. And I finish give the TV. Come on. Okay. So how was it a, an offer or something like that? No. 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 It's uh, a product to we buy with my wife and. When we start uh, to live together. Oh yeah. Uh, well, LG. I don't know if uh, it is a bad brand, but in your case, didn't work. A bad product, yes. right? Okay. Bad product, yes. Thank you, Eduardo. Okay. Unfortunately, okay, because it's your money. You you want a good product. Mm, Andre. Uh, could you read your answer, please? Okay. Uh, my work purchase was a drone mm -hmm. because it, it never arrived. Okay, it never arrived. It, it means that you bought that online. Yeah. Okay, so you paid for that product and that product never came to you. Hand. Yes, waiting wow. for the yes. So, but so come on, yeah. Disappointing, right. decepcionante, disappointing, right? Thank you. And uh, we okay. go now with David. Uh, okay, teacher. Uh, the words purchase. Um, when I was in school, I okay. bought my first. 
my my first MP3 player. Oh yeah, uh, I remember that. Uh, uh, beer brand or how do you say pajarito? Yeah, uh, fake. It fake. was a fake <laughs> beer brand. Okay. Fake brand, uh, and it only last lasted a good month. Oh, and, and it had no warranty. Yeah, no warranty. And I remember that in that time, having an MP3 player, it was really cool. It was like very modern and useful. A lot of music right in there. So it was fake. So no guarantee. Thank you, David. Well, we go with Daniel and then Guillermo. Okay. Um... I bought an emergency compressor once and uh, never used it because it's broken. Mm -hmm. I it, it was very cheap and mm -hmm. I spent twelve dollar and and never use it because it's broken. The first days wow, when the I first used day. come on, then in the first day, yeah, the that's really day. bad. Yeah, and because it, it was like cheap. Maybe yeah, one of it's very cheap. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sorry for you, Daniel. Guillermo, what about you? Well, in my case, my worst purchase uh, it was a cell phone. The brand was LG. Mm -hmm. I remember that I have um, the necessity to buy a, a cell phone. Like an emergency, you you needed one, right? Yes, because uh, um, the the other cell phone that I have, uh, they they was stolen. Oh come on, yeah. <laughs> so I uh, I I remember that I paid around seventy five dollars, mm -hmm. but. I don't have a lot of money because I, I don't I don't have a work. Okay. In so, that yeah. time, so for me that was a lot of money because yeah, I have of around no salary. I I have around sixteen years old. Yeah, I, I was oh. I was sixteen years old. Okay. Well, thank you, Guillermo. Yes, imagine like an emergency, you needed one. It was like a bad, uh, a bad purchase. Thank you. Okay, uh, we're go I'm going just to read quickly this because the time is out, right? Ya se nos acabó el tiempo. So, Oscar Daniel, the word purchase was a sports shirt. Eh, Riva says, eh, pants order online. Okay, maybe tomorrow we can talk about it. Maritza, mm, a hairbrush because it no longer works. Come on. I'm so sorry. And Gustavo says, I remember that two years ago I bought a pair of shoes. They cost me uh, $50. And after about 10 days, they were ruined. Come on. I don't know what what is going on with the clothes. Sometimes it happens. Okay, my friends. Uh, it's time to say goodbye. No voy a pasar lista sino que solo ponen el pulgar arriba en el chat y de esa manera paso lista, ¿ok? Recuerden, remember to work on the, on the homework. Trabajen, por favor, en las tareas. Tenemos el examen final, hay que hacerlo. If you can do it in advance, ¿ok? Si pueden hacerlo por adelantado, háganlo, ¿ok? Have a good night. Pasen feliz noche. Bye, bye. Good night. See teacher. you, my friends. Good See you tomorrow. Night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Have a good night.